The optical module expansion includes two separate functions, the selective optical power meter and the optical to RF converter. The selective meter consists in the first place of a selective triple filter for 1310, 1490 and 1550 nanometers. The filter separates each wavelength and each one leads to a circuit that measures the optical power received by the photosensor. In order to access to the optical measurement settings, we go to the Preferences menu by long pressing the Installations folder button and going to the Measures tab. Here we see a field called Optical Units, which will set the units in which all the optical power measurements will be taken. Once this is set up, we open the Terrestrial and Satellite Band Settings menu by short pressing the Preferences Wheel button and choose Signal Source Fiber Optic. Now we can go to Tools by pressing F3 and select Fiber Optic Test. We will place ourselves in that point of the optical network which we want to use as a reference. Once we are there, we press F2 Set Reference. After this, we can move to any other point in the fiber optic network and this screen will show us the optical power level measured at the reference point in the first row, at the current point in the second row and the attenuation introduced by the network between both locations in the third row. All these measurements are calculated for three wavelengths, 1310, 1490 and 1550 nanometers. By pressing F4, we can define the threshold attenuation, which is the maximum difference that can exist between the reference signal with the highest power level and the reference signal with the lowest power level. Any signal out of this range will be deleted and not used as a reference signal during the measurement process. The maximum attenuation field defines the attenuation threshold used by the field meter to display the status message on screen. If the attenuation level is below this value, the status message will be pass, and if it is above this value, the status message will be fail. Besides this selective optical power meter, the fiber optic option includes, as well, an optical 2RF converter. To activate it, we must go to the Terrestrial and Satellite Band Settings menu by short pressing the Preferences button and choose Optical Module. Here we enable or disable the optical converter, select which wavelength we want to convert to RF and whether we want to attenuate the RF signal after conversion. It is possible to add 15 dB attenuation or no attenuation. Once the converter has been activated, we must physically bypass the output of the conversion to the RF input of our meter. This is done as displayed in this picture. Now, the RF signal after conversion can be analyzed as any other signal. We must pay attention on whether the signal lays in terrestrial band or satellite band. If the RF signal is located in terrestrial band, we must open the Terrestrial and Satellite Band Settings menu by short pressing the Preferences button and choose Band Terrestrial. If the signal is a satellite signal being received from an optical LMB, select Band Satellite. If tuning is performed by frequency, we will need to select as well the desired polarization and band. When tuning is performed by channel, this information is collected from the channel plan in use. Now we can see in the spectrum analyzer mode the spectral content according to the band selected. Finally, the fiber optic option adds an additional input to the meter, which will allow the user to test any signal in any of these bands. Band 1 goes from 2150 to 3000 megahertz. Band 2 goes from 3400 megahertz to 4400 megahertz. Band 3 goes from 
4,400 MHz to 5,400 MHz. To activate this input, open the terrestrial and satellite band settings menu by short pressing the preferences button, choose signal source RF AUX, and select the desired band. Please keep in mind that while using this input, signal demodulation is not available.